Good morning, writers. Good morning for real because it's 6 and a quarter a.m. Yes, I woke up kinda early today. I wasn't able to fall asleep again. And suddenly, when I was in my bed, it was like a feeling was growing in me. You know, that feeling when you just need to paint. And some days it happens, but you can't go to paint because you have to work or in general to do stuff. But today, fortunately, is not the case. I don't know if it is something that happens to me only or if something common to all the writers. I think uh, it's common. You know, that feeling when you want to be alone with yourself, your cans and your letters and your feelings and stop. So, the spot is this one behind me. As you have seen, uh, there are workers over there, but uh, I came in and they didn't say anything to me. So, I think uh, that is okay. So, let's paint. It's always not that correct, but I have to say that I'm closer than usual to the sketch on paper, with the first uh, try I mean, which is cool also because I'm not using the first first lines technique today, because I'm kinda freestyling it, the V is on the sketch, there is also an E, but the N and the T, they will be freestyle. I am almost there with the E, the lower part it's okay, but the upper part is a bit crooked, it's not like uh, the idea I have in my head, so I'm kinda struggling, but not that much because this painting is really relaxing so far. As you can see I'm doing something different than usual for two reasons, first is because I decided that I have to do a step back and do stuff uh, a little bit more simple, but this is a matter for another video, and second is that uh, I'm completely going uh, instinctive today, and it's so cool. Cool. The T is completely stupid, I don't know why it came out really stupid, I mean I know why, because it's the letter that I practice uh, last, I can fix it. Now I'm happy with the T as well, I really hope that there is enough black to make a complete outline, but this is a problem that I don't care about now because it's time for the fill-in. I will do the fill-in with the, the burner chrome from Molotov. It's not full, it's an half, but since the piece is in a small scale I should be able to fill it without even finish it. I have to say that when I look at it uh, filled with chrome, it looks really weird to me. I don't know if it is because it is weird or because I'm not that familiar with these shapes, not anymore at least, so it's a bit of a trick, I don't know. However, it's time for the background, just some uh, shadings, just a few to cover the spots where the first lines are visible like on the E or on the right of the T.
Okay, I finished all the colors of the background, which is not cool at all. Honestly, I was too confident and I brought with me only some leftovers, which is not a problem, but I should have brought with me much more leftovers. I know myself why I didn't do it. However, I have a problem under the E. I don't know if uh, this spot will be covered by the outline and if not, I will uh, add a little bit of chrome. But just in case, because now is outline time. It's time for the truth. I'm always scared about the outline. I feel not clever at all in this moment because I don't even have a skin for the outline So I will use a Lego cap, but it's not the best solution, but what can I do? I have to find something to step up and uh, reach the top to make that line of the beat. I think it isn't safe. Okay. Outlines and shadows done. Now I will add something that in my opinion, at least in my head, is brilliant, is wonderful, is the magic touch, but in the reality it could completely ruin the piece. Let's find out. A bit of highlights with white and then I'm done for today. I mean, for this morning, because it's nine and a quarter. It's incredible. Uh, this makes me laugh a lot because it's incredible. Usually I am so slow. I paint uh, till eight or nine uh, in the evening. Incredible. It's 9 a.m. So guys, I'm done. It's incredibly nine and a half, neither nine and a half a.m. However, I'm done, as you can see over here. And so this is how one hour of painting early in the morning by me looks like. And as always, let's analyze it. Keeping in mind that this is a freestyle piece, except for the V at the end, and that's a complete new style, let's say for me, and indeed there are some mistakes about this. However, let's start from the balancing, which indeed is different than usual. It's based on an arc, but is not that symmetrical, like always. I mean, as you can see, there are these two fins under the V and under the T to make the piece a little bit symmetrical, but at the end it isn't and it's okay like this. The weight of the letters is a little bit more on the right side than on the left and there is a hole under the E. The symmetry is increased also by these not physical arrows. As always they are composition elements and not physical sticks, so they are a little bit more free than the letters. And I have to say that the arrow on the V is perfect, the movement is wonderful, also about the T, but since it doesn't follow perfectly the shape of the letter, it's not that beautiful, but it's nice. And the arrow under the E is really nice, by the way I used this arrow also to fill the empty space, as you can tell. This arrow at the bottom is a little bit different than the other two arrows, because I look at it like uh, the arrow that you put under the tag, you know, like this one. And because of that, I think that the piece is still balanced even if there isn't a composition arrow on the N, which is the only letter without this kind of arrow. However, the letters. The V is really, really, really nice, the best letter in my opinion, also because 
it was the only letter that I sketched at home. And if you look at the whole piece, I think that's visible. It's pretty straight, not like my usual V, but it's really, really nice. There is just one thing that I don't like that much and is the melting with E because the little fin on the right is not that visible anymore. The E is okay, it's a little bit too straight in my opinion, but I did it like that on purpose because I didn't want to leave the V as the only straight letter in the piece. At the end, in terms of lettering, the E is nice. Also, the thin part that connect the upper body of the E to the down part is nice, in my opinion. Well, the N... Mm, I don't like the end that much. I mean, I like it, but it's too different compared to the other letters. It's too boxy and is static, let's say. And also, if I have to be completely honest, the right straight stick is not that cool. It doesn't fit that much with the other parts of the lettering. Anyway, the T. Honestly, I really like this letter. In my opinion, it's a little bit too small and I have to say that the upper horizontal stick should have been longer. Should have been a little bit more on the right in order to be longer than the lower fin. This is the biggest mistake about the T. But now, as a conclusion, let's talk about the two biggest mistakes in this piece, which are a shame. First, I missed an highlight on the T. This is toy. Don't do this. Don't fucking do this. Over sight could be, but man, it's too much. However, there is something even worse and is that I missed a shadow. I don't know if you already spotted it, but man, here I missed a shadow. I did it, but then I erased it with the background color because I wanted to adjust the T outline, but then I completely forgot to redo that shadow. I'm completely stupid. However, leaving out this, I like this piece to be honest. It's nice. I would have liked to add some elements like like a tag or I don't know more quotation marks here and there but I finished the black and so this is it let me know if you like this piece let me know if you like this step back that I did but I will do a proper video about it however and guys see you next time